previous videos, we looked at creating a, a cut line around a group of vector objects and also creating a cut line around a bitmap object. And in the case of the bitmap, we thickened up the outside edges of the logo um, by adding what we call a bleed. Uh, and the bleed uh, ensures that when we cut, we cut always on printed areas of the design and we don't leave any um, little bits of white on printed vinyl around the outside. In, the, in this instance, what we want to look at is creating a cut line uh, using the existing boundary of a bitmap object. But what we want to do this time is we want to, if you like, shrink the cut line in away from the edge of the object. So this is kind of the opposite of a bleed line. Instead of making the, the colored areas thicker, we're moving the cut line in from the existing edge. So you can see the uh, pink cut contour line running exactly around the edge of the object at the moment. And with that selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this tool here. And if I left click and hold down, you can see that uh, it's a, a, a multiple tool. We have Drop Shadow, Contour, Blend, Distort, Envelope and Extrude. We're going to use Contour in this instance. With the Contour tool selected, you can see at the top here we have three options. We have Create a Contour, an Outside Contour, Create an Inside Contour, or Create a Contour to the Center. So we're going to create a contour to the inside and here we're going to set the distance in from the edge that this contour will be created. So let's put one millimeter and press enter and you can see what it's done. It's created a contour line that runs one millimeter in from the edge. Well, that's that's too far. That's, uh, that's further we want it to be. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to change that from one millimeter to say 0 0.5 and press enter. How does that look? Still a bit too much. Undo that, make it 0 0.25. And now, now we can see that the cut line is running just inside the colored edge. Scroll across, have a look at the rest of the design. Okay, next thing we need to do is those two lines are now one object. You can see it here, it's called a, it's called a contour group. And if I right click on top of the contour group, I have the option to break the contour group apart. So I select that. And now with it broken apart, I can simply click on the outside one, the, the one that we don't want, and delete it. And now I choose the inside contour line and I change the color to cut contour. Shrink it down. I'll just have another zoom in on that. You can see how that all looks. Here we go. So we can see here a cut contour running a quarter of a millimeter in from the edge of the colored area.